Hey guys, uh, during the last during the last recording, I was showing you how to find uh, the moment of inertia of a rectangular section by using integrals. But it was with respect to the centroid of the section. So right now, I want to show you how to. This is what we did. This is the process that we did uh, for that problem, and we did it with respect to x, and we did it with respect to y also. But now I want to show you what happens if you want to calculate the moment of inertia with respect to the base, not with respect to the centroid. Well, this the procedure is exactly the same procedure that we used before. Uh, we just have our figure, B and H. But now, uh, because the centroid, uh, the moment of inertia is asked to be calculated with respect to the base, the only difference is that I'm going to put my axis of reference at that point. And I'm going to put it here also in case that we want to calculate it with respect to this other part. So this is going to be my Y and this is going to be my uh, X. Now, I'm just going to do it for the sake of uh, not tiring you with some mm, too many problems, too many steps. I'm just going to do it with respect to x, but y is the same thing. So remember, I sub x in this case is not centroidal. In the other case, was I sub zero x, and the only the only th difference is this not here. This uh, zero uh, is representing centroid. In this case, x represents the x-axis. So I sub x is going to be equal to the integral of y squared dA, and the rest of the procedure is the same. I'm going to measure y in this direction and this is my differential of area perpendicular to that y that means that this value here is dy and my d differential of area dA is going to be equal to b times dy I plug this into there and i sub x is going to be the integral of y squared times b dy, which at this point you haven't changed anything with respect to what we did before. Here, b y squared dy. So we do the integration of this. b goes outside the integral. The integral of b y squared dy. Uh, and this is going to be b y to the third divided by 3. But now the difference is the limits. Where are my limits? same thing. If we are using this part and we are saying that this is my differential of area, we are sweeping the whole area from this point to that point. From this point once again to that point. And according to our reference, this is the 0, 0. So my limits in the y direction goes from 0 to h. From 0 to h, evaluated from 0 to h. A moment of inertia with respect to x is equal to b h cubed divided by 3. If you do it in the other direction, then you're going to get that i y is equal to h v q divided by 3, which is the same thing. And you can repeat the procedure by yourself. You can do it. I hope you enjoy. See you next recording.